During a dedicated segment on BBC Breakfast, many locals shared their worries over their deteriorating oral health and how they have to travel further afield to try and get an appointment. A report by the British Dental Association revealed that 40 million appointments were missed due to the pandemic and lockdowns, with many practices struggling to reopen to full capacity to meet their targets. Hosts Roger Johnson and Rachel Burden started the segment by spotlighting the mass backlog of dental appointments in the UK. Rachel said, the British Dental Association is warned that some will be forced out of business as treatments become financially unviable. Roger added, yes, 40 million NHS dental appointments have been lost since lockdown but with staff shortages and funding cuts hitting the sector, many are worried they will be unable to meet their government targets and that will mean they won't receive financial support. Reporter Stuart Twinkup went out on location to showcase the dire situation in the Northeast. All Creatures Great and Small's Callum Woodhouse talks season 3 and Missing the Pub The correspondent spoke to both dental professionals and residents to see how the pandemic had impacted the area. One resident candidly said, There is a lot of people I know that certainly cannot get an NHS listing whatsoever. You can tell from the state of their teeth just how bad it is, really. With waiting lists growing, many patients have to either go private or attempt their own procedures. Dentist Paul Woodhouse said, I have seen people attempt to pull their own teeth out, patching holes with chewing gum, filing teeth down. He said the problems are being caused by the NHS contracts, which has resulted in a 30% drop in income. This has resulted in many dentists leaving the profession. Paul added, if you are doing an extensive course of treatment on an NHS patient, quite often you can lose money. Don't miss, Immerdale Theory, Marlon Dingle and Rona Goskirk leave Village in April Windsor Twist. Spoilers How to Watch Yellowstone for free in the UK, latest Game of Thrones Varys star admits being shunned after unrecognizable transformation, latest, treating gum disease, you lose money. If we are not funded properly, we can't do the job. And to be honest, we just can't do it anymore. It's destroying us. In January this year, the government announced £50 million in funding to pay for 350,000 extra dental appointments but local member of parliament Matt Vickers felt more needed to be done. He described, it's a huge problem. It's seeing people living on painkillers. It's seeing people doing DIY filings, DIY tooth extractions, moth cancer going undiagnosed. It is a huge problem and is on a massive scale here in the Northeast. He ended with that he thought the government was doing the right thing by injecting money into the system but that we need to go back to the drawing board to see how we can get more dentists. BBC Breakfast airs weekdays at 6am on BBC One.